excited to be together again because it has been a long it time. It has. Way too long. Yes. My name is Vanya. This is Pamela Rosario. And we're actually here talking about her new workbook that she just released, which is called... The Blueprint to Balance. Blueprint to Balance. <laughs> so we're excited to get into everything that this book is about. But before we get into that, I wanted to <clears throat> ask you, what is a day in the life of Pamela Rosario? We know that you're a wife, you're an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you're a mother, you juggle a lot of things. So what is a typical day for you like? Well, days are really busy um, and no day is the same. So usually during the day, during the week, I have my full-time job. So I kind of dedicate my nine to five to my nine to five. Mm -hmm. um, the afternoons include soccer, gymnastics, cheerleading meal prepping, dinners, content creation, you know, the administrative behind the scenes stuff, Instagram engaging. Um, so I tried to like kind of throw all that out within the five days, kind of balance it out throughout the week. Um, you know, it's, it's different for me every day. Um, on weekends, I try to batch all my videos, get those done for the most part. Saturdays, Sundays, I really just want to relax. I don't want to think about work. I don't want to do anything. I just kind of want to be in the moment with my family. Um, so I keep Sundays open. But Monday through Friday, depending on the day, I'm at work during the day. I'm rushing home to get whatever kid needs to get to wherever. <laughs> so I might be at soccer and Ariel might be at gym gymnastics for the other wow. for our, our second daughter um and then we're home getting ready for bed while when they finally get to sleep around 8 30 I'll start my content creation process just because it's quiet in the house and it's easier for me to concentrate um so that can include writing a blog post writing, worrying about captions editing videos um mm -hmm. and I usually right after that you know shower and try to make it to bed by 10 10 30 to start it all over the next day the next day <laughs> So it's a lot. They hours fly, mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm constantly looking at the time. All right, it's five o'clock. I gotta go. Next thing, yeah. you know, like I'm ready to move on. Yeah, <laughs> it is so much. And just to be clear, if you guys um, are not following Pam and haven't seen or haven't seen, if this, if this is your first time seeing her, she is by content creator. She means she is a blogger as well as um, influencer. Influencer, I guess, yeah. yeah. Influencer. Yep. So, uh, what is your handle, just so that people know? I'm um, Pamela Rosario. Yes, so go follow that. But moving Thank on. you. <laughs> so, let's get into the workbook. So, first of all, what inspired you to even make a workbook? What was what led up to thinking, I should, you know, create this? And, and Yeah, so the book was inspired because of my busy schedule. Like, I... There was quitting wasn't an option for my full time job. It's something that I enjoy doing, so I didn't want to leave. But then I also love content creation. I love yeah. making videos. I love the photography. I like showing off my family. I like you know doing the creative process. I don't get much of that in my nine to five. So why not have it all, right? Like why do I have to wait until you know my time is up in my nine to five to pursue my career? You know my entrepreneurship and my my creative career. Um, so I think. For me, it was just finding a balance to be able to juggle basically two full-time jobs, right? Because right. I was not going to not put my all in my the creation of the book and my brand itself. But I also have a nine-to-five that I enjoy. So quitting wasn't an option. So I'm like, all right, well, we got to figure this out. So I, what prompted me was that really just kind of wanting to find make way to pave the way for other moms that do have other passion that they want to do and maybe feel like they can't because they have their jobs and it's a lot and kids and, and all that and yes you need resources and and all that stuff but I think it, it can be done with a little bit of discipline and balance mm -hmm. so that's what prompt the book I talk a lot about you know having a village having family to help you know pick up kids if I can't make it to soccer on time maybe you mm -hmm. can drop the kids off and I'll meet you there and just finding wow. ways to make it work like every our counts, you know, so I plan ahead and I talk about that in the book too, planning ahead. My husband and I every night, all right, so what's your schedule like tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I have my, you know, my husband plays baseball too. So he's like, all right, well, I have baseball at this time. I'm like, all right, well, I have to go to my gym session at this time. So we kind of talk about our days just so that we're on the same page. And I think some people forget that and they just mm -hmm. get so caught up in the overwhelm of all the things that they want to do mm -hmm. that it kind of paralyzes them to move forward so I would get a lot of moms like oh my god you do you do so much how do you do it all and oh my god you have so much time I'm like no I don't <laughs> I don't have time <laughs> so if you want to hang out tell me what time and day so I can squeeze you in because right. it's really and I want to find time for my friends for myself for my family everything that matters to me um so I'm like, why not? You know, yeah. why can't I? So yeah. I think that that's what really prompts the book. I could never find any of those type of resources on how to, like, juggle your time. Work-life balance. Do people, you know, is that really a thing? Mm -hmm. You know, so 
I wanted to put something out there that has, I feel has helped me kind of be able to juggle all my multi-passions and be able to hopefully inspire the next mom or the next woman, not even a mom, the next woman that has a thousand other things that she wants to do to right. move forward in those, in those passions. Right. That's awesome. I do, <clears throat> I, I do agree with that. I do feel like there aren't a lot of resources yeah. that show you what is the balance actually look yeah, like. Yeah, like what does a behind the scenes look like, right? right? Like you see all these influencers, they make it look so lavish and easy, exactly. but it's really not. <laughs> yes, exactly. I was going to say with social media, just, you yeah. know, TikTok and everything, it just makes yeah. it seem like it's no sweat. Right. Like, you yeah, just make you just get work. up and you just look beautiful you know, right in the morning. when you yourself waking out of bed. <laughs> and you're just and like, oh, with makeup on and it <laughs> just works out. And that is not exactly Not at all. Yeah. So that's awesome that you have, you know, a resource that people can come to and actually yeah. see what this looks like. And I feel like that's why this workbook is so relatable because not everybody is, you know, on TikTok mm -hmm. that has the time right. to do that or Instagram. Right. Like most of us are trying yeah. to balance and we have jobs and we're trying mm -hmm. to make it work. Yeah. And a lot of us are sacrificing our passion. Yeah. So yeah. that's really awesome. I'm excited to read this workbook because I'm gonna get it. Um, <laughs> so tell us a little bit, we're going to pivot a little because you also have a bag. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try not to butcher the, pronu the pronunciation. <laughs> I'll let you try. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> Bella y Balenciaga. There you go. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us more about that um, and what inspired the name. What does it mean for those of us who are not Spanish speakers? Yeah. So, be yeah, so Bella y Balenciaga is in Spanish translated beautifully balanced. Mm -hmm. Right. So I... But the brand, the slogan kind of came about because of the book. I wanted to have this be like one particular brand, just talking about balance. And the merch kind of goes along with, with the book. Mm -hmm. And I, the the term kind of, I usually I used to call myself a hot mess. Oh, I'm such a hot mm -hmm. mess. I used to say that term to myself a lot. And I had to check myself because I started really looking like a hot mess, right? <laughs> like you kind of spoken into existence. And I'm like, no, I'm not a hot mess. And then I thought beautiful disaster. Like I kind of thought mm -hmm. around those terms. So... Because I am a Latina and I don't see a lot of that either. I'm like, all right, maybe I'll speak to my Latin, you know, heritage. So which is why I translated it to Bella y Balenciada. Because although, you know, hot mess sounds great, but it's, it's like those type of terms, I try to stay away from that yeah. because I'm afraid to fall into that trap of really being a hot mess. And I think that your words mean a lot. You have to be very careful with the words you choose. So instead of saying hot mess, I revert that to nope, I'm Bella y Balenciada or I'm beautifully balanced. Yeah. Because... Even though today or this moment might feel like I'm a hot mess, but I'm actually not because it's just part of the process. You know, there are going to be moments where you feel discouraged and you're going to feel like I'm all over the place. But no, hold on. Let me just think things through. And I think that reminding myself of the opposite of hot mess, which is where, where Bella Balantela came from, kind of mm -hmm. helps me get rid of that thought and, and make it into something a little more positive. And, yeah. you know, hopefully something positive comes about throughout the day. Right. So, um, so, yeah, I have merch available on my website, guys. So check it out at Pamela Rosario www.pamelazario.com slash shop. We have a mug. I, I did bring a tote bag just to show you guys the, lo uh, the logo. Um, I also have water bottles. Aww. We have crop tops. We have uh, notepads. Wow. Um, so, yeah. So That's I, so cute. So here, I'll show it up so everybody can see it. And this is the larger tote bag. There's also, it comes in black and it's a smaller, there's also a smaller version as well. Nice, nice. So that's all on the site. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to have everything kind of come together with the whole balance approach. Right. <clears throat> that's beautiful. I love that. And I, I feel, it's really beautiful to me because I, I can see that this is, this is like you're practicing what you preach. Because yeah. even in our conversation prior, <laughs> yeah. the camera's coming on. I know. Like, I started talking about it. I'm like, wait, I got to yes, say my multiple, thoughts. <laughs> multiple times, Pam was like, no, I, I keep saying this, but no, this is what I'm going to say. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I know. I kept trying to not talk about it, but it's really hard to not talk about it mm -hmm. because it is how I live my life. And sometimes people, like boundaries is a big deal. I talk about this in my book too. Like I was, you know, as a, as a Dominican, we don't really have boundaries. Like our families just are intertwined. Mm -hmm. Like they want to know all your business. Like they don't have boundaries. They want to come over when they want to come over. They don't right. care about your boundaries. So that was important to me too, is setting those boundaries because I don't have wasteless time. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I can't just sit around and do nothing. And, you know, I, I have to have a schedule and balancing and, and I had to kind of know what's happening because if, you know, I usually have stuff going on. So if you want to hang out, I would love to hang out, but you got to kind of let me know what time. Mm -hmm. So, because if not, I'm probably going to be out shooting content. I'll be out, right. you know, doing my own thing. And it's not that I don't want to hang out. Some people just have to understand that I, 
unfortunately you can't just show up at my house and right. that's you know that's just my boundary and that's an, it's one thing that I wanted to iterate to on the in the book because I know for myself my family didn't understand mm. the boundaries mm -hmm. like they're like what <laughs> <laughs> I can't just show up no right. you can't just show up so um so yeah, so I really do live this lifestyle. Like this is like how I've been able to manage everything, and I'm, it's so important to me because I really do want to see this grow. I want to see my online business be successful and be, you know, hopefully a multi million dollar business. Right. So it will. It, yes, and I I said the word hopefully, and you I said did. I wasn't gonna say words like that, like hopefully and maybe <laughs> so, like right. those type of terms. I try to keep away from my online business because this is something that means so much to me. Yeah. So balancing. That's what I mean by is, when we were talking earlier, yep. you kept correcting yourself with those. Yeah, words, I keep like, you know I'm still it's a it's a process. I gotta get used yeah, to like the whole good. hot mess. I had to like check myself like no girl you're not a hot mess. You yeah. just you're figuring things out. Yeah. And so so. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I love this fam because I feel like it's it's something that we need especially in this society where everyone is portrayed as perfect and has it together it's like yeah no, and it's busy we're all help. busy and everyone's trying to do so much I feel like our generation we're so creative we yes. just want to do more it's not like you know with my mom's generation they were doctors and lawyers and right. those were great careers but now those are not enough like yeah. at least it feels like for our generation we want to do other things too it's not just a one 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 shop shop one stop yeah. shop mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, and I, I want to be able to show, to show that you can do it despite being in college or studying for a bar exam or going to medical school, that you can still push something else. And there's celebrities that do it all the time. And I granted celebrities have, you know, other resources, right. but I think about Tatiana Ali a lot because mm -hmm. she was like 15 when she did Fresh Prince of Bel-Air wow. and she got herself through, was it law school? I think that right. she went to, she went to, she went to Princeton wow. all while recording being Ashley yeah. Banks. Like if she can do it, I can do it yeah. too. Right. And I know, like I said, this, you know, they are celebrities and they have different types of resources, but you could still make it work with what you have if you really wanted to do it. Right. right. So that's kind of like where my thought process was behind behind doing all of this <laughs> yeah it really it's like all a mindset it's all yeah. a mind game um so you kind of touched on a little bit of this but I guess just to well kind of to wrap up what would you say or what is like a couple okay one who do you feel like this book will help the most like who is it for your target you know audience and two what are like some gems that you want them to take away from the workbook um, I think this book will speak more so to moms because, um, you know, again, I, I feel like I hear it more so from that audience um, that wants to do more, but my kids are in school. I don't have time. My kids, you know, my kids is doing this. Maybe after they finish, you know, maybe they go to college, then I'll, you know, go back to school. Like, I hear that a lot, and I think that you really, that's just all fear. You mm -hmm. just don't want to challenge, you know, it's, it's challenging. It's, it's not, e it's, and it's hard. It's not easy. It's really not. And it's going to be discouraging. But one, one phrase I always remember is your purpose is bigger than your pity. So you mm -hmm. feeling like I can't do it. It's overwhelming. Your purpose is bigger than that. And you have to remember that. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, like what I really want to them to take is that like whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. It's just, it's going to be hard. And there's a lot of discipline that goes behind that, but that should not take away from what you want to put out in this world or what legacy you want to leave behind. Your kids are watching, right? Mm -hmm. And I have girls. Yeah. So I want them to be go-getters. Like, it. I want them to have their own money and, and be boss, you know, boss babes yeah. and, you know, whatever these new young terms are <laughs> <laughs> these girl days. Boss. Girl bosses and all those good <laughs> things. I want them to see the resilience, the discipline to learn, you know, that they can do things for themselves, that they don't have to rely and depend on others. Yeah. And, um... So I, I, I would say more so for moms, uh, gems that I would like them to get from it is, like I've said, you can do it. Mm -hmm. No matter your schedule, your, your demands, your priorities, it, it's just one more thing you have to figure out. Yeah. There's seven days in the week. You know, you figure it out somehow. Whether you dedicate 30 minutes a day or an hour a day, you, you can do something, one small step mm -hmm. towards the direction of your dream, to, you know, towards your dream job. Whether it's reading a self-help book mm -hmm. to kind of get your motivation aligned or get some inspiration from somewhere. Even online. Pinterest is my best friend. I'm always on Pinterest looking at things. Like, yeah. yeah. Pinterest is like... I'm always on there getting ideas, trying to figure out how other bloggers are juggling their yeah. time. What are some, you know, because they have so many creative outlets on Pinterest. So mm -hmm. you can really find a lot of resources in there. So, um, you know, and, and boundaries is big. Like I, I touched on that earlier, too. That's one lesson that I learned. It was a hard lesson to learn mm -hmm. because I would find myself overwhelmed trying to please everyone. But mm -hmm. I just can't do <laughs> yeah. I can't do it's that. <laughs> so um, 
So yeah, bound, you know, don't be afraid to set your own boundaries. Don't be afraid to say no. And don't, like I said, 30 minutes a day is all you need. Even for working out. Like when you want to get the body of your dreams, you want to look like Beyonce or Jennifer Lopez. All you need is 30 minutes a day of hardcore cardio or, or strength training or something. 30 minutes. Yeah. And, and it's just, you can squeeze in 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. You know, you just don't want to. So right. I think that ultimately that's what I hope to inspire from this book. Like, yeah, I'm busy, but... You know, you can dedicate at least 30 minutes a day to whatever dream you have. You want to be a painter, paint a picture for 30 minutes, right. you know, color or something. Like, something. do something. <laughs> do one thing. One small step. And with time, that little small bite will continue to grow. Right. So. It's, it's transformative. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. I'm inspired. I'm like, okay, what, what, what am I going to do today? I got time. Right? What's, what's, what's on the agenda for today? <laughs> one small thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, what more can we expect from you? Is there anything else you're working on? What else can we say? Oh my God. I have tons of ideas. I have more, I do have more books that I want to write. I love writing. Writing's my thing. So I'm really big on, on that. So I do want to write another book. I I'm, have a couple ideas. So hopefully more resources, you know, for book, you know, as far as books. Um, I had a couple ideas to do a course, but I don't know. I'm still, I'm still toying with that idea. Mm-hmm. Definitely more merch. Uh, I really love doing that. I've kind of been, trying to add, you know, a different line. I figured that when I launch my next book, maybe I can do another set of merch to go with that. Um, Mm -hmm. And, you know, I do content creation, so check me out on Instagram at I'm Pamela Rosario. I post reels every day. I'm very much into styling, so a lot of my... My creative process revolves around styling and workwear, um, so check me out that way. My website is up, PamelaRosario.com, so you can expect more merch coming and more products. I plan to do, like I said, a course and hopefully more books on, nice. on juggling, work-life balance, creativity. Journaling is a big deal for me, too, mm-hmm. so I have a lot of ideas in terms That's of that. Awesome. Guys, I highly, highly recommend you <laughs> check all those things out because, again, I feel like it's just realistic, you know, all yeah. these re- resources and mm-hmm. advice and wisdom, like we can apply these if yes, we really want to. Absolutely. So definitely check her out. Do you have any last words or any parting words? No, no. I just want to, you know, say thank you guys for your time. And I'm really, really looking forward to the launch of the book. I don't have a date officially yet. I'm okay. still my I have a friend that's helping me kind of with the with the process, but we're still doing some final editing. Um, so hopefully by the end of the, by the end of the month we'll have a final date. Nice. I'm hoping it will be by August first. Um, but that's not set in stone yet. <laughs> um, but definitely check out my website, PamelaRosario.com slash shops so you can find all my merchandise we will have it also in an ebook if you don't want to buy a paper copy we will also have an Perfect. ebook available and yeah make sure you guys check that out and follow me on social media at um, pamela rosario Perfect. Yes. Do that so that you do know when it's dropping. You yep. don't want to miss it. And I'm join our wait list too as well. Actually, right. I have a wait list and email Perfect. list so that way you'll know when the book is launching. Listen, Pamela, you got it together. Okay? I got you. You need me. I got you. <laughs> Slide in my DMs and we got this. <laughs> nice, nice. Pam, this was fun. Thank you so I much, Vanya. This. Yes, really of course. I'm really excited about this launch. I'm def- like, I feel like I need it. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout to get this for Thank you so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, this was a new Villa Radio special. Um, We will be back, by the way. We're still working out kinks, but we're going to be back doing interviews. In the meantime, you're on YouTube, so you can see all of our past interviews and people that we've had on, just like this, interviewing and giving a platform to Mm -hmm. talk about whatever endeavors they're working on. Absolutely. So that's all. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching.